Okay, everybody, I have a 2001 Dodge Intrepid. I've seen numerous videos on how to pull the codes out of the AC unit, and I tried them, and for some reason, mine won't work. Well, I found the directions on the PDF. Uh, it's actually a shop manual for this car on PDF on the Internet, and now I know the correct way to do it. So I'm going to show you to see how it does it. First, it says to turn the key on. I mean, to start the car, period. Start the car, let it idle. And now, over here, you have to have this dial set to any speed. It could be low, medium, high, medium, or high, high. So, I put it on the first one, on low. Uh, this one has to be turned all the way counterclockwise to the cold position here. This one has to be all the way to the defrost position. Once you accomplish that, then you're going to go and push these two. You can see that light. And then you see the green light blinking on top. You let them go. Over here, it's going to say... Let me see if I can turn the headlights on. AC00. AC so once it says... Oops. Once it says that... Then we just wait until this green light stops blinking. So we're waiting for it to stop blinking. Still, it's still scanning. What it's doing is it's doing all the vents up, all the way down, to the left, to the right, uh, moving all the blend doors. And once it's done with the test, the light will stop blinking. It's just a regular green light as you can see it stayed on so it stopped blinking and now if you look I have a code 23 and that's not the only code what you have to do is press the top uh, snowflake button to scroll through the codes and once you scroll through the codes when you're on your last code and you hit the snowflake button the green light will turn off and it'll give your trip reading for your tripometer. So I'm pushing the snowflake button. So we got code 23, code 24, code 32, and then now it went back to the trip mileage. My green button is off, only my defrost is on, so we're out of the diagnostic mode. So if you have any questions, just feel free to put it on my comments. So in my case, my actual codes were 23, 24, and 32, I believe. Okay, so that shows you how to pull the codes out of your AC unit the proper way. Okay, any comments or uh, questions, just leave it in my comments area, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, bye-bye.